and let's welcome to Lug Unplugged. It's me, Meredith. I'm here today to do a quick comparison of backpack to backpack. I've got about six, seven different bags that are convertible bags usually, and they go right on your back. And I thought I'd give you a quick little size, side to side, how they look, and also how they look when I'm wearing them. I am 5'9", so keep that in mind. If you're shorter than me, they might be a little bit bigger, or a little more overwhelming. If you're taller than me, they might feel a little bit smaller. So let's start small to big. I want to start with the zip liner. This is a hobo, hobo style like tote bag that is convertible. You pull on the straps, it becomes a backpack. This is probably the easiest to convert backpack that there is, and this is in the bouquet red. So there's the zip liner. Let's hold the zip liner up next to the canter. You can see that the zip liner is maybe a little bit bigger when they're both laid flat, but I think that the canter can hold a little bit more because of the way that its pockets are. So this is in Wildflower Olive. This has tote straps, a crossbody strap, and backpack straps. But for today, we're just looking at the backpack straps. So here it is on my back. Something to pay attention to is when you hook up those backpack straps because you can unhook them. This tote strap, you can either go above or underneath the backpack straps. I like to worry, think about if I plan on carrying it by, for like tote straps hardly ever, rarely, then I put the backpack straps over top of the tote straps because then uh, it's much easier for the backpack straps to work and you don't have this awkward handle on top. However, if I plan on carrying it by the tote straps even just part of the time, I put the backpack straps underneath, then you do have this awkward look here, but it's easier to grab both tote straps. That is true on many of these convertible bags, so remember that. So here's the canter, and we're gonna compare it to the Midi Puddle Jumper 3. Very similar in size, in fact, look at that. The magnet pockets just wanna. <laughs> They're holding hands, guys. It's so cute. Um, very similar. I think that the mini puddle jumper is slightly bigger. This one I did the back handle underneath the backpack straps because that's how I was carrying it yesterday. This is in the bouquet black. But here you can see what it looks like on. It really rests right above my hips here at the bottom. Um, I like to keep my backpacks pretty high. I don't really want them, you know, Sometimes you put them too low and then they do this while you walk because they're, <laughs> they're against your glutes, which is not always a good look. So there's the mini puddle jumper three. Just for argument's sake, here's the back flip. It's a discontinued bag from a while ago. Uh, taller, it's a pretty skinny bag, but I wanted you a chance to see it together. Okay, mini puddle jumper three versus the jumper. The jumper has um, height on it, definitely. It's a definitely a bigger bag, but remember that the, the jumper is only a backpack. It is not a crossbody, and the backpack straps are always attached. So, this is actually still a little high. I thought I had it right for me. Huh. Okay. So that's where I would wear it. By the way, I'm at the bottom of this. Like, this is as long as the straps can go. It's pretty small. Like, for 5'9 me, this hits me right where I want it to. But if you're much taller and you don't like wearing your bags up high, uh, think that through because you don't have, there's not a ton of extra strap length there, which makes me think that it's not really made for grown women. I mean, of course you can use it. And it's just like, the design's not young. The color isn't young. So uh, something to think about with the jumper when you're thinking about it. Okay, this is the Via. Two. It also has the puddle jumper pockets. These two are very similar in size. You can see this one has the backpack straps here. This is in Wildflower Multi. These backpack straps are much longer. So even if I, I can extend them out and then it drops way lower. So these straps have a lot more length than the jumper straps do. Interesting. Hmm, I didn't notice that before I was putting them on for you guys. So here's the look of that Via 2 on me. And then let's hold up the big one 
This is the Puddle Jumper Backpack. So Puddle Jumper Backpack versus Via 2. For argument's sake, Puddle Jumper Backpack versus Jumper. Puddle Jumper Backpack, Jumper. This one is, this one is packed, which doesn't help. I still have all my church council paperwork in it. These straps are different too than the other ones. They are more like fleece or I don't know, this webbing material. So they, the rest of them are this with a rubber on the back side. This one doesn't have rubber. But this is honestly the most comfortable bag for me out of all of them. Plus, uh, it's got plenty of strap length here for the backpack straps. Easy for me to wear the right length. Um, right now I've got it even a little bit low. So I think this one feels the most natural and it looks the most natural for me to be wearing as well. So there you have it, my quick side to side of all the backpacks that I own from Lug. If you like my videos, please click like and subscribe and comment down below which backpacks do you own and which one's your favorite and what do you use it for? I'd love to hear more. Thanks for watching, bye.